Well, July 31st marks two years since gunfire in downtown Orlando near the Wall Street Plaza sent people running for their lives. At least nine people were hurt, and to this day, no one has been arrested. As a result of this and other incidents, there are a list of new city ordinances in effect to combat crime, and more are on the way. Just yesterday, city commissioners voted to approve the first reading of a rule that would create a 300-foot buffer between new bars. Yeah, and tonight, a bar owner is voicing his concerns against those restrictions, saying the city is taking away jobs from those who need them the most. New Six's Troy Campbell went inside the Beecham to get answers. His conversation with the managing partner is new at 11. So on a Saturday right. night, how many people are we talking about that will be right like, here? Like a thousand people. We, don't, we party with thousands is what we say. John Sanfilippo is the managing partner of the Beecham in downtown Orlando, as well as the six adjoining venues. He says since the city passed an after midnight permit for nightclubs, he's had to lay off workers. You know, before the AMS permit, I had just about over 300 employees. From the fees that I pay for OPD, I've had to lay off over 100, about 100 people. Um, and small businesses are supposed to create jobs, not take away jobs. He says with more than 350 incidents in parking areas downtown in June, it isn't fair he's being forced to pay for policing away from his venue. Sometimes $10,000 a week for nine officers. Do you get to watch these nine officers stand outside of your building no, on a Saturday? No, they're not assigned to my building. I don't have one officer that I pay for out of that nine that's that's stationed in front of my building. And the Beecham isn't just a nightclub. For example, your favorite comedic performer might book this spot on their tour, as well as your favorite singer. They also bring in revenue by booking private events. During Monday's council meeting, city staff did say they're working with nightclub owners in downtown to see if they're interested into converting into a restaurant or another type of business. The Orlando City Council passed a ban on all new bars in downtown and introduced its after midnight permit for nightclubs in March of 2023. Commissioners are set to approve what's described as a more permanent solution on August 12th. This includes restricting bars to be located 300 feet apart or about one city block. Current bars will be grandfathered in. We were encouraged to come to downtown Orlando. We applied for permits and got permits to expand our businesses and create the vibrant nightlife that we have in downtown Orlando. In downtown Orlando, Troy Campbell, Getting Results, News 6.